Don't forget to check us out on Patreon where you'll receive exclusive content to videos that are not available on YouTube. And for those of you that like the one video instead of the two video format, you get that as well. Bam! For a dollar. Bam! It's a dollar a month. Yep. I think we're cooling in a bag of Cheetos. You can't even get that for a dollar. Hey, that's true. <laughs> not hot Cheetos, though. <laughs> Only like regular, yeah, regular Cheetos. So check us out on Patreon, guys. We hope to see you there. All right, guys. So we're back with the classic rock marathon, oh, man, yeah. with Dire Straits, uh -huh. Sultans of Swing. Man, this shit has 122 million views on it, man. That's crazy, man. And we just looked up, um, hey, we've, we've seen Dire Straits in the comments quite a bit. And we looked up classic rock songs on, uh, we just Googled it. And this song came up. So we said, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do this one. And we looked at the, the views. We're like, uh, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> uh, this seems to be probably one of their biggest songs. And kind of looking at the wiki, it's, the wiki seems to support that as well. Because it's saying that Dire Straits is a British rock band formed in London in 1977. So we just did Fleetwood Mac, mm -hmm. um, the Rumors album, which dropped around the same time. So y'all had Dire Straits, Fleetwood Mac. They know, were just, they were beasting That again. was a great time, Kill, man. Killing it. And uh, they were active from 77 to 88. And from 91 to 95, they're, they're one of the world's best-selling music artists with album sales of over 100 million. I guess when you're killing it like that, you could take a layoff. You <laughs> yeah, know what? Yeah. We, we could take a break. Yeah, exactly. Years, you know yep. And keep it right back rolling. Yep. But it's saying the first single, Sultan's a Swing, from um, their 78 self-titled album, reached the top 10 in uh, UK and US charts. So um, it was followed by hit singles, including Romeo and Juliet. Is like don't do it, Romeo don't do it. And Juliet. <laughs> don't do it. Sex on a platter, just a Jew. Hey, yo, classic rock uh, people out there, check out Romeo and Juliet by Silk E. It's a rap song. You guys will love that. Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan knew where I was going with that. Yeah. <laughs> Hot sex on a platter, just to get you wet. Amazing, man. I love it. That um, was a great song. I, I love that fuck. I still like that. <laughs> rock heads are going to be like, what? Um, so this is a big deal, man. Big band. It looks like they had some jazz influence in their music. Yeah, Various man. influences, including jazz, folk, country, blues, rock. I mean, you know, the whole shebang. Everything that we like. Um, I'm excited about this because I don't know anything from them at all. Me I'm either. pretty confident that I haven't heard this song. But I don't know about this one, seriously. So let, let's get into this one. <laughs> dire Straits, Sultans of Swing. Man, say that again. This I don't know if you guys heard me, man. This because George asked me, hey, "Does this sound familiar?" And I was like, "You know, man, it sounds like every Quentin Tarantino movie I've ever heard. Mm. Like, like, like the I, uh, I can hear the that, music. Though. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like uh, Pulp Fiction, Kill Bill. Uh, yeah, Kill Bill, <laughs> a Desperado. I mean, they all have this kind of sound to it. I can to hear me. that. Though. So maybe this is um, maybe they've played some of their music in there, his movies. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Did, I don't know. Yeah, I, I hear that, but this does not sound familiar at all to me. <laughs> and I'm surprised by it because usually with this many views, typically based off of just you know, how how it's worked out for us before, we've kind of ran across a song somewhere. But this does not sound familiar. It's smooth though. <laughs> Let's get back to it. Okay, there it is. I, I don't know about that. I still okay. don't know 
know this that, song. Though. I knew it was coming because I, I, I recognized yeah. certain <laughs> certain chords before that happened, but that definitely brought it home. So yep. I, I've heard, maybe heard this somewhere, but that was like we were right on point. Yep. Me and you both. Because we, like, we knew that that was gonna. Da, da. Yeah, that, that's iconic. We've heard yeah. that that um that uh those that, riffs, those yeah, chords, the way that they put that together. That yeah, dun, 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 dun. yeah, we were like, like yeah, that's exactly what it is. But I know I still haven't heard the song exactly i've heard that piece yes somewhere you know what i'm saying <laughs> and, and thank you for, for pointing that out because i want <laughs> that's very important when we say we've heard it somewhere that doesn't mean we've like really listened to the yeah. entire 90 something percent of the time we've just heard the chorus yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> i can't like recite the verses or anything like that so that's i've true. just heard our pe- bits and pieces of whatever song we're listening to typically in yep. passing you know what i mean so those riffs definitely sound very I, I, we've Familiar, heard it somewhere yeah. Um, I can hear the blues and jazz influence in yep. this, though. This is very, very smooth. Um, and I just think that it's just a cool song, man. It's just mm-hmm. a cool, smoothed-out song that you can just ride to. This is a car ride song to yep. me. So that's kind of what I'm getting way. so far. You know, Lil' J. Way. This is 77. <laughs> 77. So y'all, that I do that. You know, hey, about to be legal no anyway. judgment here, bro. You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, let's get back to it, though, guys. In other places But the horns, they blow in that sound Brits are still cool. No, nah, they're always cool. But I will say I'm this sorry. though: <laughs> the way that uh, the guitarist is playing yeah. this is what's smoothing this out. To That's me. the highlight. To me, me, this is a regular song without that. Yeah, without that. Bum, 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 and those little, those little nuances yeah. in the way he's playing that. I'm like, yeah, it's a smooth song and it's cool. But that gives it a uh, kind of an edgy vibe that gives that, that you're almost like, you know what? This is fucking fly. It makes it jazzy. It, it, it gets it to the fly. It's like it's cool without that, but when you it, it takes it to a different level. It's fly. I agree. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the highlight of it to me. Seriously, I completely dude. agree with that, man. I think it's very cerebral, but like relaxing. It's like a brain massage. <laughs> it's not like grating on my brain. How, how do you get a brain massage? Jazz. Yeah. Listen to jazz, <laughs> and then you'll understand exactly where. I'm. You know, but I gotta say, man, um, just the 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 influence of of. British musicians, man. I mean, it's just you see it. You know, a lot of the classic, yeah. the, the 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 classic rock bands, most of them were from overseas. Yeah, right? that's true. Classic right. rock, classic. A lot of classic metal bands: Black Sabbath, Pink Floyd, yeah. Dire Straits, Fleetwood Mac. Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean, we could just keep going and going. They yeah. were all over from um, uh, all, all uh, came over from England. Man. Yeah, man. They were all doing their thing, man. So salute and to them killing it. for the. <laughs> they're like rock royalty. Yeah, I'm telling you. Know you know what I'm saying? And I think that that's obvious, but for people who don't have rock as, I guess, their their number one go-to genre, like that's something that yeah. that you kind of have to take time out to acknowledge. That's like, true. yo, dude, You're a right. lot of the rock greats. And even Jimi Hendrix had to take his ass over to London in order to, you know what I mean, in order yeah. to pop off, That's right? true. He went to that's London. True. You know what I'm saying? That's true, man. So salute to everybody over there in the UK, London, England, Brit, all the Brits. I don't know what's yeah, what's appropriate now, fashionable, <laughs> yeah. to call you guys, man. But, but, the, but your mark on the history of music is just incredible, man. Yeah, undeniable. Un- undeniable, man. man. Undeniable. Let's keep it going. Money strictly rhythm, he doesn't want to make it cry all soon. That's the blues and jazz. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't come out of here.
Because I don't care what they're saying. <laughs> I really don't. I mean, and I know that sounds bad, especially for a channel like ours, because we listen to the, the lyricism a lot. But I don't care what's being said. I really don't. The way that the guitarist is 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 just Smooth. making love to this groove, man. I mean, it's just, it's almost like they're he's freestyling in between yeah. the damn uh the, the, the damn verses. Yeah. He's like bump bump improvising. Bum, I mean, it's just yeah. yeah, that right there without that. That, that guitar is amazing. The bluesiness of that, Dude. even the jazz elements in this is just, that's just amazing. Man. It is, man. Initially, when it started, it, it just felt like a, a standard sort of r subdued rock right, right. song. I didn't, I, I was like, ah, well, it's got 122 million views. I'm not really hearing what separated this. Maybe it was just the first of its kind. But as the song started to go yeah. on, I'm like, okay, the guitar in this is just really amazing. As we started to kind of recognize yeah. some riffs that we've just... heard in the past. Yeah, yeah, man. It's, a, it that is, it's really incredible. Yeah. It really is, man. Yeah. You know? Very well done. Let's keep it going. Friday night. With the Sultans. With the Sultans of Swing. To me, it's actually starting to sound more blues than rock. You know what I mean? Honestly, at this yeah, point, man. even in the way he's, you know, obviously he's uh, singing the lyrics or even sort of mouthing the lyrics has a heavy blues influence. Just the way it sounds like Big that time. sounds like some muddy water shit. Yes. The way he's singing it. Big time. You know what I mean? So you hear that blues influence in the in the melody of the guitar, the riffs that they're choosing and in the way he's he's singing a song. It's like he's talking that jazz. He's talking that, that right. talking that talk. You know what I'm saying? So, and man, you know, you're right. I agree with you wholeheartedly, man. But I gotta go back to the guitars, man. I looked this up <laughs> real quick, man. It, apparently, it's two, and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing their names right. It's Mark and David Knopfler, I believe. Knopfler. I believe Knopfler. I, I okay. hope I'm saying it right. It looks but, like they're brothers. I guess. Yeah. But I tell you, man, Cousins. I I didn't know it was two guitarists, but dude, it now knowing that and listening to the song, man, it yeah. seems like they're. That, that they're like playing off each other as they're playing. Killing so, this shit. Dude, this is this this is this is pretty incredible, man. I I know this is probably not new to a lot of people that's gonna watch this video, man. That that's really what's sticking out to me, man. And they're, they're, they're doing their thing. Man. Do you think that just for for the first like um minute, did you, did you predict that this would be playlist for you? No. Because this is playlist now for me. Yes. Like, at first, I was just like, okay, this is cool. This is this cool. And that's to do. what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be cool. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I said, man. I was like, it was cool when it started, but the guitars makes it, like, fly. Yeah. To me, it puts it... That, I agree, that, man. That, 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 that little bit of oomph on it to make it fly. You yeah. know what I mean? Just to put it over the top is what, essentially, what I'm talking about. I know fly is relative, but... Oh, fuck that, man. Whatever. They get it now. <laughs> you watch this channel, man. You're going to pick up some slang. All right, uh, yeah, man, this is Playlist, though. This is actually a really good yes, song, sir. you know what I mean? It kind of yep. grew, grew on me as we went along, and I started rec recognizing certain riffs that I think are just iconic. So salute to these guys. Let's yeah, get man. back to it. And the Sultans. Yeah, the Sultans are big Creole.
like, don't you forget about yeah. me back here. Yeah. The drummer yeah. was like, don't forget about me back here, yeah, bro. Man. <laughs> and the basses, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Bass that, back. Guitars. that drummer got to, you know. Yep. Like, we, I'm part of the band, too, man, Lost in mm -hmm. Vegas. Mm -hmm. Then the man steps right up to the microphone. Says it lasts just as the time bell rings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my good night. Now it's time to go home. Yeah. yeah. Then he makes it fast. The way this is layered, One though, more thing. it's beautiful, man. Don't find We are the Sultans. We are the Sultans. Right there. Boy. That was great. I love that, man, because that was a slow burn for me, man. That I, was a slow burn at first. I was like, ah, then I was like, okay, I like it. I really like it. Now I love it. That was that was really that was a great sort of uh transitioning in how I yeah, felt. Man. I was transitioning in each sort of section and in a lot of different sections, transitioning to liking the song more and more. Now at this point, I can't wait to play this shit. Yeah, like it is definitely that playlist. I that solo at the end was amazing, by the way. Fly. Amazing solo. Super fly, man. And you know what, man? Um, Sultan is another word for king, right? Sultan, yes. Right? The Sultan, Sar. the king. Sultans of swing. Yeah, they definitely are the kings of swing. I can only imagine, George, if I was, you know, freaking alive during this time and an adult and I could really take in what was being played, mm -hmm. I would have to say... It's fly now. Yeah, this shit is Back cool. Back then, can you imagine hearing this shit yeah. in 78? Yeah, this was cool, man. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's by definition. Yeah, I'd be like, you know what? Yeah, y'all are the kings. Yeah. Because this shit is fly. Yeah, it is. I mean, it is just, it, they <laughs> knocked it out the park. They did kill it, though. Seriously. Because th th that's the kind of reaction we're having now. Can yeah. you imagine that shit in 78? Still. October Still 7, fresh, 78, like, dude, timeless. yeah. Y'all, y'all, I would be like, I'd be backstage like, man, y'all killed this, boy. Yeah. So shout out. Shout out shout to, out to, to Dire, dire Straits, Straits One thing is for sure, they are not in Dire Straits. Nah, yeah, nah. They are, they, well, they sold 100-something million yeah, uh, they, records? No. They're not struggling at all. No, they have pet white tigers. I'll buy them. <laughs> they doing it up. Nah, they probably don't. But then again, um, really enjoyed this yeah, one, guys. Man. Wow. You know, and this Great is something song. that we just kind of ran into. We just Googled Great Dire song. Straits. Salt and the Swing was clearly the biggest song they've ever done. We just put it on YouTube and saw that this is the most viewed one. And I can completely understand. Shout out to the drummer as well, man, for keeping a keeping the funky rhythm in the background. I think this yeah. whole song was just done very well. What was his man. name? Uh, Pick Withers. Pick Withers. Well, that's the a drummer. fly ass name. That is. That, that, we were made for that. Then again, a the guitarist would be perfect because Pick. Yep. Yeah, and shout out to the uh, the bass guitarist John. I can't pronounce his last name, so shout out to you, John. Yeah. Um, because uh, they all did their thing, and I, and as we as you said, as we were listening to the song, man, and it kind of. There were so many layers and so much, so much um, facets with nuance. The, yeah, yeah, it is. You with, know, within the guitar playing, and as you heard it, yep. you're like, "Wow, you know what? Yeah, he's actually doing his thing." Exactly. How, how it was layered, Dude. like exactly how it was job. layered in with the rhythm and the groove, and just. Oh my goodness! Yeah, they killed that song, man. Yeah, man. So that's going on the playlist. Yeah, dude. Classic rock marathon. Me and Ryan said it before never we disappoints. Nah, dude. It, exactly. <laughs> that was exactly where I was going. Me and Ryan were saying before this was like we're gonna have a lot of playlist songs in this. Yeah, we man. know we are. You know what I mean? So yeah, shout out dude. to Dire Straits. Give us some other suggestions for this band for sure. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Because that was right up my alley, yeah, boy. Was. <laughs> All right, that's the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed that, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And also, guys, we offer exclusive content on Patreon. The link for that will be in the description. Check that out. And uh, I'm George. That's Ryan, Lost in Vegas. We out. We out.